Hi friends, I'm Beth and I'm back with another episode of How I'm Doing It. Today we're going to talk about the next stop on our recent Royal Caribbean cruise, which was to Roatan, Honduras. Roatan is an island off the coast of mainland Honduras and it is in the Atlantic Ocean. One of the interesting things that I learned about this upon our arrival that I did not know beforehand is that Roatan used to be a British colony. Um, therefore, much of it was very familiar to us. Uh, things were in what we might call the English measurements, um, imperial units such as gallons of gas rather than liters, Fahrenheit for temperature instead of Celsius, uh, distance was measured in miles, feet, inches, things like this. It was very much more familiar. Also, uh, most of the people spoke English that we ran into. Um, now, there are others there who do not speak English. It is something of a multicultural island. Um, and we had a wonderful tour guide named Shedna Woods who drove us all around the island, gave us a ton of wonderful, interesting history and education about life on the island, and answered every question we could possibly think of. We had a fascinating trip. So really, really happy with being able to meet Shedna and receive such a wonderful, warm introduction to the island. We went to the Daniel Johnson Monkey and Sloth Hangout. One of the things that we like to do that's important to us when we do our travels is to meet the animals, the local animals of any given place to where we travel. And it's interesting and educational for my kids and for me, but also we do like to take great care to choose places that are more ethical in their treatment of animals. And so I was very pleased when I researched the Daniel Johnson Monkey and Sloth, excuse me, Monkey and Sloth Hangout. It's a long name. Um, I was very pleased with what I learned about how they take care of the animals. And when I got there, when we were looking around, I could see with my own eyes how they treated the animals. Um, the sloths, for instance, they're not caged um, on a daily basis. They literally go back into the local forest and they hang around because they know that um, the next day, the workers will go and offer them the opportunity to be fed. So they hang out because it's easy feeding. And so then the workers are able to come and, you know, pick them up from where they are at their chosen place in the forest and um, come back to be viewed by the visitors like us. So they spend their nights in free ranging, basically, not in cages. Um, also, the other animals, there were a lot of animals besides just monkeys and sloths, the other animals are not forced to perform. If an animal does not want to perform, they are not forced to, and we respect that. In fact, we did go into one section where there were parrots and macaws, and the parrots were just not interested in hanging out with us. So, um, all of us visitors were there in the parrot section, um, but they, the parrots had hung out in the rafters in the top and did not come down even when offer, offered food. And the worker explained, you know, if the parrots don't want to come visit us, we're not going to force them. We respect them and that's their choice. If they choose to interact with us people, that is their choice. So there was um, a lot of respect in my opinion for the animals. We do appreciate people that do treat the animals ethically. Um, we are there to admire and learn about the animals. We do not want to be a stressor on them. So I did respect them for how they approach their, um, their work in this regard. So that was wonderful. And then we went around and saw several different things. Now, I do not feel that I can put all of our Roatan adventure into one video without making it excessively long. After this, the next thing we did, um, the next animals that we went to visit were the iguanas at an iguana reserve. But I think I may have to put that into another video episode just to keep it from getting unwieldy. So I hope that you enjoy this and let's get right to it.
drunk from grief. Guys, if you want to go out there and check the long top of the trees, we'll go ahead and do that. You do it. <laughs> Just hanging out? These are the white face. <laughs> oh, she's grooming you. <laughs> we also give them free time every day, guys. We let them Whoa. outside and they never leave. No, she's <laughs> soft for her, don't call for her. She'll always bite you. And she got her shirt. <laughs> you ever had a monkey on your head? Snooky, like I said, guys. I've seen her stole a wig already, so you know, she has to know her more. She's got her more. Oh, Mama, she took you into my heart. What broke my heart when I see my little baby going quiet? Oh, that's my little baby. Put your hand down, Elko. We want to see you smile. Oh, baby, quick. That is a scene. Snooky's happy with her. Oh, little baby, quick. Okay. You guys got some good photos? It's not on here. Oh, okay. Oh, she needs some more here. <laughs> flexible joints they have and they're spidery limbs. We don't let anybody inside with them though because they're quick tempered. We say they're high <laughs> promise you guys. Wow. Photos, guys. Look at you, Joseph. Give me your hand. Give me your other hand, please. Hi, wow. What's up? Whoa, that's so cool. You could go out there for me. Yeah, you guys stand up there. Those of you that held there. Elka, look at me. Ooh. 
Look at that. All right, you can go out there for I didn't expect you to get that short. I know, right? Yeah, I know. Mom. I got my nose for him. Could you open that again for me, please? I'm calling back.